we've seen the growth of um, alternative sport in Australia. Mm. In the world, we've seen the growth of alternative sports over the last kind of 20 years or so. But it does feel like um, Adelaide in particular is uh, either shy of being able to invest in this or, or, or we're quite backwards in the investment in this. And, and Adelaide is the only capital city in the Southern Hemisphere that doesn't have a skate park. How, how can we be a international cycling hub? How can we hold one of the greatest races that happen every yep. year yep. in Adelaide and then we neglect what has just become an Olympic sport in, mm. in BMX riding, what has just become an Olympic sport in skateboarding? Mm. And we have, um, and, and like you said before that, that, that you brought up that uh, women's change change mm. rooms and, and women's facilities within grassroots sport is, is almost non-existent unless you're playing netball. Our, our facilities in, in Adelaide and in our CBD, there aren't toilets. Mm. There is one little bubbler tap mm-hmm. and it is it is a temporary skate park mm. that is popped off in the parklands out yeah. of the way. And, and, you know, when we do have Mad March and we've got the clips and we've got things, they're not accessible. Yeah. We couple that with what we look at uh, with youth crime yep. or, or the bored youth and why are they doing this? Why is there graffiti? Why is there this? Why is there that? But then we don't recognise, or we might recognise, but we don't uh, we don't uh, apply ourselves to change or build this facility. I know that the labour um, the labour government had come up with a scheme to to put a skate park on the outskirts of the CBD mm. near Adelaide High School. That was five years after the uh, the old skate park was mm. ripped down, and it seemed to be something that was more of a um, uh, m- more of something that was probably an afterthought yeah. in a campaign than what was actually needed yeah. in our in our uh, in the heart of our CBD. There are there are businesses that revolve around these things. Mm. There are I could think off the top of my head three or four businesses that absolutely revolve mm. around those facilities within our CBD um, and youth services. Lots of youth services utilised throughout our, our, our suburbs and yep. our metropolitan area, skate parks and those facilities to be able to bring people in and to be able to engage with people mm. that are uh, predominantly the hardest group of people to engage with yep. is is that, you know, that 16 to 25 Absolutely. year olds and, and whatnot. And, and, and then we look at where the festival stay, where the party stay. Yep. We've got Mad March, we've got the Fringe, we've yep. got the Adelaide Festival, we've got, you know, the the tasting bloody mm. tasting Australia. Tasting Australia yeah. We've got those things yet we're absolutely and it feels like we absolutely ignore this sixteen to twenty five year old alternative yeah. sports and giving them a place. It's I I, I was so pissed off that we spent hundred and eighty thousand dollars putting a fake beach on the Torrens and that, that we you know, we've got Glenelg. It's yeah, like I know. real beach. Yeah. Maybe if you're in it's, Paris, you put a fake beach in the centre of Paris. But yeah. I'm with you. Like, what was that all about? And no one went to it. Because no we're not it. idiots. No. Um, you know, and and come it was down out of the way as well. Yeah. If you look at our CBD, and, to, and we are Adelaide. We, yeah. are, we are a small, we're a kilometre yeah. square. That's what, that's what we got. And we use it really well. Yeah. But there's two things. Putting that beach there is yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. We've got a beach volleyball set up in the heart of our CBD. Yep. And it seems superfluous. Yeah. It doesn't seem well, like a... So if we look at that lack of skating facilities, that's probably a failing that I had, but um, there was no one really that I remember coming to us with a concise, well-thought-out plan. And you know what the easiest thing to fix is someone who comes to you with a problem but a solution. 